The Noises County District Attorney's Office says it will no longer prosecute some misdemeanor marijuana cases. Now, this move comes after the recent legislative session approved a new law legalizing hemp here in Texas. Our Nikhila Pradier joins us now with more on that. And Nikhila, our DA is not the only one here in Texas that's making this policy change. Lee, Mark Gonzalez and top prosecutors from three other Texas counties all signed on to the change in this letter that was released earlier in the week. They say under this new law, there's a crucial step to determining the difference between hemp and marijuana, one that the state is not equipped to handle. Now they're forced to adjust. House Bill 1325 has prosecutors around Texas switching up the way they handle low-level marijuana cases. What this is is a response to the legislature changing the law. The law now defines hemp and marijuana by the amount of THC, which is the ingredient that produces a high. A concentration below 0.3 percent is hemp and legal. Anything over that level is illegal. That distinction was enough for Nueces County DA Mark Gonzalez and district attorneys from Bear, Harris and Fort Bend counties to make a change. But if it comes to us and it's a misdemeanor marijuana amount and there's no drug test, we're not going to accept it. The bigger problem with testing, according to First Assistant DA Matt Manning, is that our state's crime labs, including the one here in Corpus Christi, don't have the equipment to determine the amount of THC in a substance. But prosecutors need that test to meet their burden of proof. So in addition to not accepting misdemeanor marijuana cases from here on out, we are going to dismiss all cases brought to us since June 10th, 2019. That's when the law went into to affect. Manning says it's the right move to ensure the public and the integrity of the DA's office are not compromised. Until there are drug tests that very clearly tell us that this is an impermissible amount of THC in any given substance, we're not going to prosecute citizens and subject them to a loss of liberty or a loss of, you know, any of their rights. And the DAs in Nueces and other counties who signed on to this letter say they will still pursue felony marijuana charges, but on a case by case basis. Lee. All right. Thank you very much. Well, Manning says it is also possible that law enforcement will still make some arrests or issue citations in misdemeanor cases. But again, the DA's office will stick with the new policy.